Revit gives you a few tools for drawing a roof out in your project. The first and easiest is the roof by footprint tool, uh, which lets you draw a roof out and plan. But if the roof that you need is a little bit more complicated in section, for example, a barrel vaulted roof, then you really need to choose the roof by extrusion tool, which works similarly, except you can actually draw it out in section and then Revit will pull the extrusion from that. So to start using that, uh, you need to first go to a view uh, where you can see the side of your building. In my case, I'm going to zoom in and choose the east elevation tag, click on it, and it brings up a side view uh, of my building to start drawing the roof out in profile. So choose the roof by extrusion tool by going to the tool tree to the left, under the basics tab, choose roof, and then roof by extrusion. The first dialog box that pops up, Revit is asking you to specify a new work plane. And what it means by this is it needs you to define a work surface in, in space somewhere in your model so you can start drawing your section out. So this, this work surface needs to be perpendicular to the view that you're looking at. In the case of my model, I have grid lines um, which function as work planes. Grid lines in my model are running in the east-west direction are numbered and the grid lines running in the north-south direction which is perpendicular to the view I'm looking at now are lettered. So if I grab any of my lettered grids um, that will be an appropriate work plane that I can start using. So I'll go ahead and grab grid A and choose OK. The second dialog box uh, is asking you to define the level that's associated with the roof. Um, I'll choose top of parapet with zero offset and click OK. Once you do that, Revit puts you into a sketch mode where you can start drawing the profile of the roof, which is just like drawing a wall. Um, you're going to draw a line and Revit will associate a roof to the line that you draw. Uh, using the line tool, I'll choose it and then um, in this case, I'll draw a barrel vaulted roof, so I'll use the arch tool, bring it up, and once you're satisfied with the profile, uh, choose Finish Sketch, and um, Revit will bring you out of the sketch mode, and it applies a roof to the line that you drew. From here, you can select the roof, and you can um, actually move it up or down. And if you go to the 3D view, um, you can see the roof that uh, Revit has applied. You can notice on the side of the building um, where it starts, this is at my A grid, and it's extruded in this direction. If I want to change that, I just select the roof itself, and you can notice in the type selector, you can change it out for a different roof type um, that's already been defined. Or you can create your own type by going to the Element Properties button, then choose Edit New, Duplicate, and give it a new name. Here you can um, click in the Structure um, parameter and click Edit, and change its layers out, which you can change dimensions, material, and even uh, delete and insert new layers and change the order that they appear using the up-down buttons. Um, once you're satisfied with the layers you've created, you can click OK and OK again. If, if you're not happy with uh, the length of the roof, if you need it to be shorter or longer, you can stretch it um, while in the 3D view using uh, these grab handles, or you can be more precise about it by going to the Element Properties button uh, ne located next to the Type Selector at the top clicking on it, and at the extrusion start and extrusion end, you can change the, the length of your roof here a little bit more precisely. And hit OK to apply. The same can be done um, for the offset of the level that it's attached to. If I want to be a little bit more precise about how high or low that the roof sets, um, I can change the offset here and click OK. And actually I'll close out of the 3D view, we'll go back to the side view and I'll zoom in, and if I select the roof and choose its element properties, um, you can see a little bit easier uh, just exactly what it's doing. Hit OK, 
and it's actually shifting it up from this level, which is top of parapet. It's making it, um, it's offsetting it a little bit higher. Once you have a uh, roof selected, um, this icon here, uh, if you click on it, it's going to disassociate it from the work plane uh, that you started it from. Um, you can also change that. This, this allows you to um, start sliding it uh, back and forth. Uh, you can change uh, its starting point, the starting point that it extruded from, by choosing Edit Work Plane at the top um, of the window as well. By clicking on that, um, you can see that it's disassociated the roof from that grid A that I started with. I can reassociate it or change it to a different grid. Hit OK. If I go to the 3D view, you can see that now it started it out uh, at a different grid and it's given that extrusion, which I can then um, adjust if I need to. I'll hit Control Z uh, to get back out of that. Um, finally, if you need to um, edit the profile, the, sh the shape of the roof that you made, you can always go back into the sketch mode by going back to the side view of your building. So I'll click out of the 3D view, uh, choose the roof, click the edit button um, at the top of the window, and this will bring you back into a sketch mode where you can change this profile line out. Uh, once you're finished changing it, uh, you can hit finish sketch. And finally, uh, if you want to bring these walls up and attach them to the roof, you can do this um, by first selecting the roof, or excuse me, selecting the wall that you want to attach. Um, this gives you a new option at the top of the option bar. Um, click attach and then choose the roof you want the wall to be attached to. And it brings the wall up.